Hey everybody, it's Off the Highway. I'm Tony Chris. That's John Pattison, my good friend from Silverton, Oregon, and he is the author of a great book called Slow Church. John, my question for you, Slow Church is a really sort of like, it's a high ideal book. It's this idea of the patient way of Jesus. It's living into neighborhood and not buying into sort of the American culture, the fast foodization of American culture, and it sounds really great. And you come off sounding really great. You come off sounding really smart. And I'm just curious, in what ways would you say that you are a poser, that you are a hypocrite, that you you talk a good game, but you don't live it out? Well, the easiest, the easiest answer to that is that there's no one in your audience who's eaten more fast food in their life than me. <laughs> I got the idea for Slow Church when I was writing a book on gluttony. Huh. And I was researching fast food and slow food and when I, the more I learned about slow food, the more I realized this is a lot of these principles are what like my wife and I are hoping for from church, like how to be not just consumers, but co-participants um, in, in the way God is working in the world. And so I, that got me started thinking about slow church, but there's no one who's eaten more fast food in your audience uh, than, than me. So that's one. Uh, I still eat fast food. I still eat fast food. Um, uh, so that's one. The second is, we say in the introduction that neither uh, my co-author nor I are professionals. Tony, what you would call professional Christians. Like, we're not pastors, we're not theologians, we're not academics. We are amateurs. Um, and we're, we're very upfront about that, and we actually claim that as kind of a badge of honor, to be honest. Um, like, we thought we were writing a book for lay people. It hasn't ended up that way, but and like we thought we were writing a book for lay people. That said, Slow Church has opened up doors for us to be a part of conversations um, that we couldn't have expected. And so we are now, like we're going in and we're talking to pastors. We're talking to seminaries. We're talking to professional Christians. And they're asking for our advice about things. And I feel completely unqualified. And at my best, I tell them I feel unqualified, that we're learning together. But sometimes I... I feel like I need to perform. I need to posture. I need to over prepare. Um, uh, and then, and, and inevitably, when I do that, I drive away from the event thinking I should have done this differently. I should have done that differently. And I, I just beat myself up. And rather than just being me and just sort of claiming, "Hey, like this is this is a journey that that I'm on. I don't know how long it's going to last." Thanks for including me in your conversations, but this is this is who I am, and um, you know, hopefully, we can still be friends. Well, you are a poser, and I, I completely affirm that. And uh, yeah. in closing, I just like to ask a question: You're driving, you're driving your gas guzzling car down Boulevard of America, and you have the Lucky Charms rainbow of options of fast food. Which one do you choose? In and out every time. In and out burgers, your number one choice. It is such a it is such a good thing that the closest In and Out Burger is three hundred and fifty miles away. Okay. For now. For now. Not much longer though. Yeah. They're encroaching. Yep, they are. John Pattison, Slow Church, he's actually a really good dude. And the fact he's willing to talk about his hypocrisy is an example of why he has true character and true virtue. Thank you, John. Thanks, Tony. Thanks,